What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Hot Seat. <laughs> and uh, today I have two guests on, on, on the damn hot seat, man. One of them, he's just wearing out his damn weapon. He, he don't know how to damn leave. But anyway, and that's no other than the one and only, Jimbo the Fraud Fisher. <laughs> I told these Texas A&M fans, I told them, but they didn't want to believe me. But I guarantee you they believe me now. Jimbo done lost again. He got Texas A&M sitting at three and five when coming into the season. Some clowns had him winning the SEC <laughs> and a national championship. But I wasn't one of them. Jimbo had their fans happy, all hyped up, looking forward to the season. But guess what? They ain't got nothing but utter disappointment. And I know they have a feeling in their heart and in their mind that Jimbo got to go, which he does. But I don't think he'll be going nowhere in the near future. Because I know Texas A&M ain't going to want to pay him 80 to $90 million for failing. Because that's what he did. A utter, total disappointment and failure. Jimbo Fisher has a worse record than Kevin Sumlin had at his time, well, at this point in his career at Texas A&M. And guess what they did? They fired Kevin Sumlin. But I don't think they're going to fire Jimbo Fisher. Kevin Sumlin beat Alabama with Johnny Manziel, just like Jimbo Fisher beat Alabama. But did uh, Kevin Sumlin get a big extension and raise like Jimbo Fisher? Fisher? No, he didn't. Oh, man. So Texas A&M, y'all moving backwards instead of forward. Now, if y'all bite this 80 to $90 million bullet, it might be well worth it. It might be well worth it. And like I said, Jimbo left Florida State in shambles, and he's going to leave Texas A&M in shambles, football program in shambles. He single-handedly destroyed the Florida State football program, and they have yet to recover, and he is single-handedly destroying Texas A&M football program, even though Texas A&M wasn't winning nothing before he got there. And guess what? They have only gotten worse. So, it's on you, Texas A&M. I don't feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you. Matter of fact, keep Jimbo <laughs> and keep getting the results that you get. Mm, 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 mm. But Texas A&M, you put yourself in this situation and only you can get yourself out of the situation. And I hope your next head coach will be just like Jimbo. <laughs> a failure. Cause that's, I, I'm not saying Jimbo is a failure, you know, in life or anything, just as uh, Texas A&M head coach. That's it. I'm sure Jimbo is a nice person. I'm sure of it. But as a head coach at Texas A&M and at Florida State, even though he won a national championship, but Florida State won that national championship in spite of Jimbo. But Texas A&M, y'all can't win in spite of him. Even though uh, Jimbo persuaded the AD and the president and all that to go out, to go out and spend $30,000 on a damn recruiting class or $30 million on a recruiting class. <laughs> oh, you buy a number one recruiting class just to go three and five. 
Who does that? Jimbo in Texas A&M does that. <laughs> but I done, I done been on Jimbo hard throughout this whole season. And guess what? I'm going to continue to be hard on him simply because he was talking down on my head coach, the greatest of all time, Nick Saban. And guess what? During the offseason, he called Lane Cliffin, uh, Lane Kiffin, a clown. Well, who's the clown now? <laughs> oh, anyway, but Jimbo, uh, I ain't gonna even say uh, uh, you are on the hot seat because you stay on it. You don't ever get off it. I mean, Jesus. Come on, guy. Come on, man. This guy sitting at three and five. A total disgrace to Texas A&M football, the ROTC school. But anyway, let me get off Jimbo and get on the next guy on the hot seat. And uh, we can welcome him back. And uh, matter of fact, he should have. I took him off simply because it's his first season. But uh, he's going to be on it. And if he continues the way he is, he's going to stay on it for the rest of the season. And that's oh, no other than old Brian Harson. <laughs> Brian Harson, he done had a rough time at, at, at Auburn. He done had a rough time on the Plains. And guess what? He's coming to an end. He won't be on the Plains much longer. I think they're just going to let him ride out through the season. I believe he got about three to four games left. He got to come through my Alabama Crimson time. That ain't going to be pretty. But anyway, Brian Harson, it is a shame that you let what happened happen today. It is a shame. Well, no, no. Let me go back to Jimbo Fisher. Let me go back to Jimbo Fisher right quick. But Jimbo, Jimbo's offense usually – is uh is 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 the weak part is the weak link on the team, but today it wasn't. Today his quarterback threw for three hundred thirty eight yards and four touchdowns, no interceptions. His running back a chain ran for one hundred thirty eight yards. But that defense, the defense, let him down. The defense. Let uh, let Ole Miss <laughs> run for 390 yards. 390 yards on the ground. That's what uh, 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 Jim Bowden reduced this team to. So, but anyway, let me get off of Jimbo. And then Brian Harson. <laughs> Brian Harson. Brian Harson. He let Arkansas run for 286 yards on the ground. So both of these guys need to be out of out of on the unemployment line for the for for the way they let their team perform today. That just lets you know neither team was prepared. But anyway, but uh, Brian Harson. You had a rough time at uh, on the plains, and it ain't getting no better. And I expect you'll be gone by season's end. And uh, I don't know where you're going to go from here. I don't even know if you can come. I, I know Jimbo can't, but Brian Harson, I don't even know if Nick Saban would uh, uh, accept your application to uh, Coach Saban Rehabilitation Coaches Clinic. I think your application will get denied. You should have stayed at Boise State. SEC is a totally different thing. And guess what, Brian Harson? You've been on the hot seat ever since you've been in the SEC. <laughs> your team got up for Alabama last season, but I don't think there's no way possible they can do it this season. Your season is gone, and your job will be gone, Brian Harson. This is a shame. Just like Texas A&M, Brown Horse, and y'all sitting at three and five. 
I can't remember an Auburn team being so horrible, not for two years straight. And I can't remember an Auburn team giving up damn near 300 yards on the ground and then give up over 230 in the air. I can't remember an Auburn defense doing that. It, that's just, that is just terrible, 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 terrible. Your offense did pretty good today. 458 yards, 285 through the air, 183 on the ground. But your defense, just like Texas A&M, is not up to par. They are not up to the challenge. So, Brian Harson, you on the hot seat, and you will continue to be on the hot seat, and you will be wearing out your weapon just like Jimbo the Fraud Fisher. Just got to be that way. It is what it is. So Jimbo and Brian Harson, the hot seat is yours. You can have it until you decide to give it up. Roll damn tight.